Daniel here? No. He was gone when I woke up. In episode five, Daniel has to rectify his impulse of dumping paint in the pool the episode before, and it's quite a journey for him to go get the paint and to come back with the paint. And I love the idea of a kind of existential penance that he has to pay. Yes, he's screwed up in the head sometimes. Yes, he does things that are confounding, but then he's got that side of him that's gonna walk to the paint store to try to rectify his mistakes. I never really knew my mom. She dropped you off at the orphanage? Something like that. In episode five, we get to see more into why Tawny is the way Tawny is and what she has had to overcome. Could you stay with him till you get a degree in something? I couldn't do that. Sometimes I feel like Tawny's my friend and I'm like, maybe she does need to be in a familiar place with Teddy. But then at the same time, I also know that she needs to go out and experience the world. So I love how baffling it all is. I don't think you killed George Mountain. I think it was Trey. Our judicial hero decides that Trey, in fact, is probably the killer of George Melton. And then Daniel goes, I think it's off me. And then the cloud lifts. Now will it come back? It's always that possibility. As we see Daniel try to find his way in the world, he can never really be free of that supposed guilt. But he certainly wants the opportunity to have a fresh start in life and hopefully reclaim his dignity. And so, given the evidence at hand, he might possibly be able to make it. Mm -hmm.